Dreams of Chaos. This is, um, I'm trying to get the body for Vincent Valentine. And the best way to actually exercise for the, to get the Vincent Valentine stuff is I think, you know, weight training's okay. Which, just get a little bit of it, not very much. To focus on Vincent Valentine's body, you need to have a slender-ass figure. And, um, you need to be... Um, have strong muscular legs. Now, luckily for me, I've been working on my legs since I was 13 years old. In fact, that's the first body part I've been working on. Because when I was like in middle school, I didn't have enough money for a gym membership, so I just used Grace Treadmill when I was 13 years old. So, you know, I started when I was like 13 years old with weight training. Wait, with, with, not weight training. Sorry, I like them. Leg training, so I got pretty muscular legs as it is, but I still worked them out just to keep them toned and still keep them shaped. You know, I could still do weight training, but it's not going to be completely necessary for Vincent Valentine because he's a Turk. And the Turks, if anything else, are a more pampered version of soldier, which makes sense because the Turks are supposed to represent the FBI. And the FBI is not, isn't it's supposed to be that strong. They're supposed to be fast and, and agile because, well, they're agents. And Vincent Valentine was only a security guard for the Genova Project to keep it uninterrupted. So, you know, he's just supposed to be, uh, he's only supposed to be, you know, fast and agile to protect Hojo and, Lucre and Lucre 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 Lucretia Crescent um, from the monsters that's in the mansion. And also to make sure Avalanche does not interrupt the Genova project at the time before he quit being a Turk. But he, you know, he still kept the same body, just grew his hair out and wore a different outfit because, well, you know, spent years in a casket, you know, of course your hair is going to grow if you don't get it cut. So, but nonetheless... You know, for Vincent Valentine, you just need, like, a slender body, which just, you know, get on a, that one, you just have to get on a good diet and just focus, and get, and get your stomach to go down, and then you'll have a slender figure, and then the legs, you know, just work out your legs a lot more. Weight training, I think the weight training you need to do to be Vincent Valentine, I think mostly just dumbbells, mostly dumbbells. Now, if you want to add extra things, you can. Which could help a little bit, but, you know, you really don't even see outside the suit. You don't even see, I mean, even with the classic Vincent Valentine, when you see him with his arms showing in the classic look for Final Fantasy VII, he doesn't really have that muscular of arms because he's not, you know, he's, again, he's from the Turks. Turks are focused, they focus on more agi agility, agile ability. Sorry, I just made up a word, but agileability more than they do, um, more than they do strength because, like I said, much more pampered version soldier, pretty much. That's why Turks, you know, wear suits instead of the standard soldier uniforms. I'm not saying which one's better, I'm just saying that's why Vince Valentine's build is. A more simplistic build. Anyone can actually get the build if it's a Valentine. All you got to do is work out your chest really hard and your legs really hard. You do a little bit of dumbbell training, some push-ups, some sit-ups, good diet. Then you got it. It's actually more of a simplistic character to actually get the body type for. So, I mean, even I can probably make it that way, you know. All I gotta do is cut the fat and, you know, and keep the legs muscular. I'll be agile as fuck, dude. So, um, yeah, this is my training video for Vincent Valentine.